Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I want to teach you how to install VCBox 11 on DigitalOcean. I have prepared a very uh, light ISO image that it can be uploaded into the uh, DigitalOcean and it's much more lighter than the VCBox 10 that I have. Also, the instruction is a little uh, easier because I cleaned up the image and uh, it's easier to upload. It's about three gigabyte that will be faster to upload and I don't think you will have any problem on the upload of the, uh, this ISO image. Uh, what you need to do, uh, I will put the image URL in the description. You just need to download the image that I provided for you, log into your digital ocean, click on the images, and then go to the custom image and upload your image. I'm explaining faster because I have other videos that you can follow them as well. So uh, just download the image with the URL that I provided in the description of the video and log into your digital ocean, go to the images, custom images, and then click on the upload and then select uh, from your computer, you can select uh, the image and upload it into your system. It will take a time, but not much. I just uploaded with a not very good internet and it was totally fine. Uh, I uploaded 37 minutes ago. What's the next step? The next step is you need to create a droplet. So in the top, click create droplets. Select a location. For example, I'm selecting Frankfurt. Select uh, custom images. When you are uploading, you can name your image. I named it VCBox11. And then based on your requirements, select a, a config file because I want to be fast. I'm selecting four gigabyte, uh, 80 gig, but it depends really on what do you need. Um, at least I think you need to select with two gigabyte or your VC box will be very slow. So I'm just installing with four gigabyte, select your SSH keys. It doesn't matter what you select because it's not adding them. Uh, give it a name. Uh, let's give it, for example, if it's box 11, November 09, today's date, and click Create Droplet. Okay, we need to wait till the droplet is created. Okay, great. Now that the droplet is created, what we need to do, we need to select and here select Access Console. Click on the Access Console and click on the console. You will see that it's booting to the uh, VCBox operating system. You need to wait. Uh, you cannot SSH the system right now because it doesn't have any IP address for now, and that's the first step that we need to do. Username is root. Password is vc dial. Sorry, I entered wrong, so I need to re-enter it. Username is root and password is V-I-C-I-D-I-A. We see dial, exactly. The first step is to set the IP address. Type yast, Y-A-S-T, LAN. Here you will see you have Ethernet card self, Ethernet card zero, Ethernet card one, and then ETH zero. Uh, with the tab, you can switch between these items. So go, the first step is go and select ETH zero and delete it. So you need to delete the ETH zero. Again, type yes LAN if you have exited the uh, network configuration. Select ETH0. 
go to edit and select dynamic address or DHCP. You can select with the space. And then next. Sorry, I passed the next. So then select next. Then go again to the ETH one, uh, select edit and set this one as the DHCP mode as well, dynamic address or DHCP. And then select next and OK. So what we do, we just set our network interfaces to DHCP. It automatically detects which interface is internal, which interface is external, because when you are creating an uh, image in digital ocean, it assigns two IP address for you, internal and external. We don't need the internal really, but it's okay because if you if you want to extend it later, for example, to an internal database, or if you want to set up in the cluster mode, then it's easier for you to have this internal interface as well. Uh, that's it. If you now ping, uh, let's ping Google, and we have access. From now onward, everything is like other videos, so you can follow uh, my video on how to install uh, a VC box on the digital ocean. If I want to tell you very uh, brief, you first you need to do the Zyper update. This will update your operating system. Then you need to set your time zone with VC box dash time zone. You can set where are you located. And then you need to run VCBox Express. I have explained in details all these steps in the uh, other video, so just follow them. I don't want this video to be very huge. And uh, what is important here is that the image, this is the best image that is created, I guess, till now. Uh, it is very light and it has, uh, and you can install it easily on the digital ocean. Thank you for watching.